So glad you could make it. Where am I? Exactly where you were, but sleeping. Time travel has always been possible in dreams. We are awaiting only one more participant. Oh, no. Not the one with the gigantic head. It's hair, Strax. <sighs> hair. Madam Vastra. Professor, help yourself to some tea. Why, thank you. How did you do that? Disgracefully. Ah, perhaps you two haven't met. This is the Doctor's companion. Uh, that is... his current travelling assistant. Assistant? Have you got a darker green? Clara Oswald. Professor River Song. The Doctor might have mentioned me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, of course he has. Professor Song. Sorry, it's just I, I never realised you were a woman. Well, neither did I. Perhaps we should get down to the business at hand. That might be good, dear, yes. Clarence DeMarco, murderer, under sentence of death. He offered us this in exchange for his life. Space-time coordinates. This, Mr DeMarco claims, is the location of the Doctor's greatest secret. Which is? We don't know. It's a secret. The Doctor does not discuss his secrets with anyone, my dear. If you're still entertaining the idea that you're an exception to this rule, ask yourself one question. What is his name? Well, I know it. What? You know his name, he told you? I made him. How? It took a while. So... So you were a friend of his then? A little more than a friend. A long time ago. He still never contacted you. He doesn't like endings. So what else did this DeMarco tell you? He didn't just buy his life with some coordinates. How did he prove their value? One word only. What word? A word I've heard in connection with the doctor before. Trends along. How exactly did he describe what he was giving you? The Doctor has a secret, you know. He has one he will take to the grave, and it is discovered. You misunderstood. Mom, sorry, I, I just realized I forgot to lock the door. It doesn't matter, Jenny. What misunderstanding? Tell no, me. No, Mom, please, I should have locked up before we went into the trunk. Jenny, it doesn't matter. <gasps> Someone's broken in. Someone's with us. I can hear them. <gasps> Jenny, are you all right? Sorry, Mum. So sorry. So sorry. So sorry. I think I've been murdered. Jenny. What's happened to her? Jenny, can you hear me? Speak to us, boy. Jenny! You're under attack. You must wake up now. Just wake up. Do it! Who are you? What have you done to her? You two strikes. Wake up now! <laughs> <laughs> 